I grew up in the 1950s, surrounded by images of women that had nothing to do with me or most of the girls who were my classmates at Hollenbeck Junior High School in East Los Angeles. Radio and TV images of middle-class wives and mothers like Harriet Nelson and June Cleaver, always in the bosom of their tidy families, did not apply. Nor did the few commercials that featured a working woman, usually a well-groomed blonde secretary. Nor did the ubiquitous warnings to girls to avoid premarital sex, lest they become damaged goods. The girls I went to school with were mostly from immigrant families. Many of them were pachucas, gang girls, who wore short, tight skirts and see-through nylon blouses and engaged in petty outlawry. That was their answer to the stifling mores their parents had brought with them from Mexico and to the white world that disdained them. They were often in trouble as juvenile delinquents. I, one of the few white girls at Hollenbeck, was also the daughter of an immigrant, an unwed Jewish woman from Eastern Europe who made a living sewing dresses in a downtown L.A. garment factory. I, too, was a juvenile delinquent of sorts, because I had already discovered my outlaw sexuality and would soon be going to gay girls' bars, flashing a fake ID that said I was an adult. The dominant images of woman that I and my Pachuca classmates could not avoid knowing about, through radio, TV, movies, billboards, magazines, sermons, laws, textbooks, and teachers had no resonance for us, yet their effect on us was inescapable.